a chapter a day to brighten your way. Out of love, we do what others are unwilling to do. Hello friends, let us read the Bible together. Today we'll be reading Nehemiah chapter 3. When the king of Persia agreed to Nehemiah's plan to rebuild Jerusalem's walls, Nehemiah immediately went to Jerusalem. He gathered people from all walks of life to participate in the construction and even helped them draw up a detailed blueprint for the project. All of Jerusalem rose up to work on this project. Many people were inspired by Nehemiah to greatly involve themselves in the rebuilding efforts. Everyone wanted to make Jerusalem a safer place to live. Let's read chapter 3 together. Nehemiah Chapter 3 Then Eliashib the high priest rose up with his brothers the priests, and they built the sheep gate. They consecrated it and set its doors. They consecrated it as far as the Tower of the Hundred, as far as the Tower of Hananel. And next to him the men of Jericho built. And next to them Zachar the son of Imri built. The sons of Hassaneah built the fish gate. They laid its beams and set its doors, its bolts and its bars. And next to them, Merimoth, the son of Uriah, son of Hakaz, repaired. And next to them, Meshulam, the son of Berechiah, son of Meshezebel, repaired. And next to them, Zadok, the son of Baana, repaired. And next to them, the Tekoites repaired. But their nobles would not stoop to serve their lord. Joiada, the son of Pasia, and Meshulam, the son of Besodia, repaired the gate of Yeshena. They laid its beams and set its doors, its bolts and its bars. And next to them repaired Melatiah the Gibeonite, and Jadon the Maranathite, the men of Gibeon and of Mitzpah, the seat of the governor of the province beyond the river. Next to them Uziel, the son of Harhea, goldsmiths, repaired. Next to him Hananiah, one of the perfumers, repaired. And they restored Jerusalem as far as the broad wall. Next to them Rephaiah, the son of Hur, ruler of half the district of Jerusalem, repaired. Next to them, Judea, the son of Haramath, repaired, opposite his house. And next to him, Hatash, the son of Hashabnia, repaired. Melchijah, the son of Haram, and Hashab, the son of Pehath Moab, repaired another section in the Tower of the Ovens. Next to him, Shalom, the son of Halohesh, ruler of half the district of Jerusalem, repaired, he and his daughters. Hanan and the inhabitants of Zenoah repaired the valley gate. They rebuilt it and set its doors, its bolts, and its bars, and repaired a thousand cubits of the wall, as far as the dung gate. Malchijah the son of Rechab, ruler of the district of beth Hakarim, repaired the dung gate. He rebuilt it and set its doors, its bolts, and its bars. And Shalem the son of Kolhoza, ruler of the district of Mitzpah, repaired the fountain gate. He rebuilt it and covered it and set its doors, its bolts, and its bars. And he built the wall of the pool of Shelah, of the king's garden, as far as the stairs that go down from the city of David. After him, Nehemiah the son of Azbuk, ruler of half the district of beth Sir, repaired to a point opposite the tombs of David, as far as the artificial pool, and as far as the house of the mighty men. After him, the Levites repaired, Rehum the son of Bani. Next to him, Hashabiah, ruler of half the district of Keilah, repaired for his district, after him their brothers repaired, Bavai the son of Hinadad, ruler of half the district of Keilah. Next to him, Ezer the son of Jeshua, ruler of Mitzpah, repaired another section opposite the ascent to the armory at the buttress. After him, Baruch the son of Zabai, repaired another section from the buttress to the door of the house of Eliashib the high priest. After him, Merimoth, the son of Uriah, son of Hakaz, repaired another section from the door of the house of Eliashib to the end of the house of Eliashib. After him, the priests, the men of the surrounding area, repaired. After them, Benjamin and Hashib repaired opposite their house. After them, Azariah, the son of Maaseah, son of Ananiah, repaired beside his own house. After him, Benuai, the son of Hinadad, repaired another section, from the house of Azariah to the buttress and to the corner. Palau, the son of Uzai, repaired opposite the buttress in the tower projecting from the upper house of the king at the court of the guard. After him, Padea, the son of Perosh, and the temple servants living on Ophel repaired to a point opposite the water gate on the east and the projecting tower. After him, the Tekoites repaired another section opposite the great projecting tower as far as the wall of Ophel. 
Above the horse gate the priests repaired, each one opposite his own house. After them, Zadok the son of Immer repaired opposite his own house. After him, Shemaiah the son of Shechaniah, the keeper of the east gate, repaired. After him, Hananiah the son of Shelemiah, and Hanan the sixth son of Zaleph, repaired another section. After him, Meshulam the son of Berechiah repaired opposite his chamber. After him, Melchijah, one of the goldsmiths, repaired as far as the house of the temple servants and of the merchants, opposite the muster gate, and to the upper chamber of the corner. And between the upper chamber of the corner and the sheep gate, the goldsmiths and the merchants repaired. Praise be to God! There were inevitably differing opinions during the rebuilding efforts, as we saw in verse 5 when the nobles of Tekoa did not want to participate in the construction project. But there were people like Melchijah who were willing to take on the responsibility. At the time, each city gate had its own special purpose. For example, the dung gate was used to dispose of excrement and waste. Most people would want to stay away from it, but Melchijah was willing to be in charge of repairing it, making sure every last detail was perfect. When we encounter things that others are unwilling to do, let's encourage each other to take the initiative, out of our love for God and for our brothers and sisters in Christ. I believe that God will see your amazing determination and shower you with blessings. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, I am willing to do the things no one else is willing to do for the sake of love. Even if it's just a small matter, I know that it's big in your heart. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. A chapter a day to brighten your way. See you tomorrow. Jesus loves you and I love you too.